our lovely viewers hope you're doing well we welcome you to today's video that is how to survive in Africa how do Africans survive the, the level of white collar jobs are less so in Africa most of the people they hustle how can you hustle for you to survive you can only get it from our channel we are going to learn how to do these things a lot so here we want to make our mat, local mat. Did you know that you can make local mat out of banana leaf, banana fiber? You can only get it from here. So our colleague Ruth is going to teach us how to make the mat. So be attentive as she directs us, shows how to make the local mat. I'm called Agnes. Let my colleague also explain how we can. We are going to make this local mat. I'm called Ruth. Thank you our viewers for liking our channel and for watching whatever content we bring to you. Uh, thank you for that support. We pray that may God bless you. As uh, what my colleagues say that today we are having a new program which is called How to Survive in Africa. So this time we shall show you how to make a local mat out of ban uh, the banana fibers. You see these ones, they are too dry as you see them person outside there will be wondering how are they going to make a mat out of this so make sure you follow us and make sure whatever you're doing first leave them and follow whatever we are going to do so that next time you can do it at your home so these banana fibers uh, the way they are dry like this we are going to soak them in water you'll see the process yeah. that we are going to do mm. and they really make a very good mat very uh, soft. yeah very soft Mm. and it lasts for yeah. some time mm. yeah so our viewers you will follow and learn whatever we are doing and also teach your children mm. how to do this kind of work because some of us we learn from our grandparents mm. yeah, and even our parents they used to know this kind of work mm. so in this time when we are just at home this is what we do yeah, at very least you true. do something for a survival and to be creative. You don't be there, you're sitting down, you don't have even a mat to put there, or you don't have a chair. Mm. So when you, you have banana plantation, just mm. go, get your banana fibers, make for yourself a mat. Mm. Very comfortable. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's go. Oh, hello, our viewers. As we told you today, we are making a local mat using banana fibers as you see what i'm doing now i'm trying to remove uh, the bottom part of the, the banana fiber this one it, this is the part which goes up down up the roots the reason why i'm removing it it is because it's weaker it cannot make a good mat so we remove them off and it will remain like this these small small ones also will remove them that at least will leave the the banana fiber clean and we remove them and i'm giving my colleague to be soaking them so that they become soft that we wow. make a good mat how far guys are you enjoying our video so as she's cutting for me i'm i'm putting it in the water for it to be soft as you can see after here she's going to explain to us how we can tie it to be a mat a local mat and it's very soft guys it's better than this this mask that you buy you need to try it so it's already soft so our viewers as you see, uh, you'll be wondering that why does she have the very smallest uh, banana fiber? This one is the one I'm going to use for tying when I'm making it. So, I first make sure that it's the same size. So I fold it like this and I, I see that it's the same size. Then from there, I get this, uh, the middle part of it. Then I start now making, this one is my banana leaf, banana fiber, so I will start now making from the other middle part I've told you. So you make sure one is, the, the, it will be all down like this, so when you're starting to make, 
you bring this one the behind part then you roll it around then you make this one which was down from the other side it will come behind so you keep on going like that this one I'll add another one just like this and you make sure here also uh, you are following the the line you make sure you balance it this is the art of balancing when you are making this kind of a mat mm. so that it will look neat wow. so the line also is not supposed to be crooked mm. make sure you are straight mm. when you are making your line and you're supposed to do this thing when you're not drunk because mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're not supposed to be drunk you're supposed to be really sober wow. so this is the way the thing looks like keep on adding when you are making it wow. keep on adding but do you know this one can be even a good mattress the yeah. way I'm feeling it the, the softness of yeah it can act as a good mattress you as you'll be other. seeing even what we are sitting on is also another mat but of a, a different type mm. so we shall be showing you all these ones that are local mats in our place here mm. and we all use them mm. yeah wow. so this is the way it looks the line will be like that let me show you how the lines will be because you'll be wondering how will this thing look like a mat so you can have a line here then you estimate the second line where it will be it depends on, on you if you want them to be really so close you can make them close close mm. what i'm trying to do though we have made a smaller mat mm. so i'm trying uh, to beautify this one this mat of ours by removing the one now we are not going to use so that it remains as a mat you can make a bigger one if you have a banana plantation at your home you can make a bigger than this one but this one we are trying to show you how you can make a mat it's so easy at first for me i feared i thought it was so hectic uh, it's not so hard to do it guys you can also try it and you give us your experience while making it and I'm using a knife for cutting removing these unwanted banner fibers but you can use a panga mm. or anything like which is sharp which can cut this one very well so if you don't have a sharp knife and you have a sharp panga, you can still use a sharp panga for removing this. Wow, it's very soft. I've really liked it so much. This one, long time it was a mattress. Even people used to go for introduction mm. or maybe marriages. If you don't find this one in your husband's house, it means that husband is lazy. So they used to have this kind of mats in the houses. It was good for sleeping. It's a mat purpose mat because it's good for sleeping. It's good when you have received visitors. They can sit on it. So it's really very good and affordable because you are not going to spend any, any money to make it. This one is just a local mat. So long as you have a banana plantation, you know that never you fail to make something you, for yourself. You can even use it as a door mat. It's very nice. And now this one is enough for one person to sit. And as you, you see my colleague folding it. It's easy to fold and you put in a corner. So whenever you want to sit, you remove it and you spread it. By the way, even a baby of less than one year can sleep here. Yeah. So we shall continue to beautify it mm. by removing the unwanted banana fibers so that it looks neat. What is your take, our viewers? Have you liked our videos? 
just go and like our video give your comment please and subscribe if you have not done it thank you so much for supporting creativity and we have a lot for you we have kitchen session we have gossip um, we have a lot guys just support us the only way to appreciate us is to, for you to subscribe to our channel just click on that word subscribe it will be done just you do it only once thank you so much bye bye we love you all and don't forget to share our videos with your friends relatives even your enemies don't fear to share with them uh, so that they can support us we love you our viewers we have a lot in stock for you so we are going to bring for you so support us by subscribing and sharing even comment mm -hmm. thank God you bless you bye bye